Hey guys, this is Ace Skywalker here with another Lego Marvel set review, and today we are going to be reviewing Lego Marvel Spider-Man Far From Home set, Hydro-Man Attack. The age range is 7 and up, and the set number is 76129. The piece count is 471 pieces, and it includes... Hydro Man, Mysterio, MJ, and Peter Parker. The set retails for $49.99 US, but if you go to Walmart and Amazon, it will cost $32. So you can get it for cheaper there. I personally got mine at Walmart. So. I hope you guys enjoy the review, and if you do, please make sure to like and subscribe down below. And if you have anything you would like to, to inform me of, please leave it in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching this video, and hope you enjoy. Okay, so the set has three builds, but We'll focus on the minifigures first. In order of how the minifigures come in the pack packs in the set. First sorry about that. First is Hydro Man. As you can see here, Hydro Man has just a blue face, light blue with lighter blue printing on it. Then the torso, let's get some more light on it. Torso is. Again, that light blue with even lighter t texture on it. The arms are regular blue. And the hands are light blue. Same story with the legs, they are medium blue. And as you can see here, there is some black back. No, there is some back printing. Which is again with this figure light blue on medium blue. So lots of blue on blue printing on this figure. Let's put him over here with this figure. This build. Alright, next up is. Spider-Man himself, Peter Parker. And he comes with two web pieces. Of course, there are extras, as you can see there. <clears throat> Let's take these away real quick. And, uh, as you can see with Peter Parker, he has this cap that is used in the set, which is a brand new design on the piece, even though the piece has been used before and is not new. If you take that off, there is a Peter Parker hairpiece included in the set, so you can use that on him. His face is the same as Scott Lang's, aka Ant-Man's. Which is kind of weird, because they are in a different age range, but Peter comes with a torso of him that shows the Spider-Man symbol underneath to show that he is trying to transform into his Spider-Man outfit. He's just wearing a shirt. 
and a hoodie to cover up that Spider-Man uniform. And he has gray arms with gray hands and dark blue legs. Here is the back of his torso with just a simple print for a hood. <laughs> Next minifigure is Mysterio. And can you get a good look at him? That's much better. The head is this new piece. This new fishbowl piece, as many like to call me, Mysterio's helmet. If you take that off, he just has a plain silver head. He has some intricate detailings with the primary color of dark green, as you can see all through his arms, torso, and legs, with some interesting gold and purple print with gold hands to match. And his accessories are two action pieces that were introduced in 2017, I think. The problem with this is, uh, as you can see in the trailers, Mysterio uses green blasts. So my solution for this is to simply pop off these and give them to Hydro Man. As you can see that I'm doing right here. <laughs> see, just put them on as so. And you have accurate power blasts. I think that's what they're called, now that I remember. That is what they're called, power blasts. Okay. So anyways, we will time, it's time to show you the build. It's, and should say builds because there are many in this set. Put Peter we'll put Peter's web pieces back on. And now we'll show you Hydro Man's water build. In the trailers, Hydro Man is formed from water. And this exactly represents that. There are a lot of inverted two, no, two by four pieces, which look pretty good, as you can see here. And there are some sticker details, as I have pointed, I'm pointing out right here. You can see there are some sticker details here, some here, some here, and they just really enhance the build. There are also some on the side, as you can see, and some on the back. Overall, pretty nice build to, sh to represent that Hydro Man is coming out of the water. Put that aside. Now let's get to the other secondary build before moving on to the main build. MJ's boat. So it's a nice little small compact boat moving MJ with just some studs to attach your minifigure MJ which I will show you show you now show you MJ now as you can see MJ Let 
moving her weapons, this moving her accessory to the side. MJ has a standard face. You know, she has a face that represents her movie counterpart. And uh, it works very well for representing Zendaya in Lego. She also has a simple hoodie, some black hair, some matching hands, and some black pants. She comes with a uh, object to row the boat with. So speaking of boats, let's check out the boat build, which we already started to do. Let's return to that. Boat is pretty simple. Besides those four studs that I showed you already, there are some sloping pieces and some just regular pieces. Here is the bottom studs there that can simply attach to a surface such as the plate that I display my sets on and you can simply set MJ down and pretend like she's rowing the boat across. Now we get to the main build which is the place in Venice where Part of the film Far From Home will be taking place. So, first there is a little shop over here to the right where you can sit down. Gotta move their hands up. Kind of difficult to get them in there, but you can do it. You have to remove their accessories, and to make it accurate, you can put Peter's hairpiece on. And I just knocked over a lamp. Anyways, you can put that lamp back on there. And pretend like Peter and MJ are just hanging out, having a great time with their magazine about Mysterio, slice of pizza, and their cup, their mug, I should say. And then you can press this button, and it will launch them out. Like so. So then you can pretend that Hydro Man over here committed the deed. Zooming out here, you can see that there is a bell tower with a logo for Floria's Coffee. And inside there is a little coffee shop with a coffee maker and a web piece on top along with some plant life and a street light down below so next there is the the main bridge where Mysterio can stand and there's a play feature here where if you press a button at the back if Mysterio would stay on you can press the button at the back and boom pieces will go flying. You can put them back very easily. And that's the feature. There are also some web pieces below that tie into another feature. Again, if you put Peter's cap back on and put one of his accessories back on, as you can see here, he can simply clip the web piece into 
the, the webs on the bridge to appear as if he is swinging from part to part. Which I think is a pretty clever idea. Then, if we turn the build, you can see that there is a tiny build in there. And it contains a rat. A slice of pizza and a diamond. So it looks like the rat has quite the stash over there. And that is mainly it for the build, except for some water below. Of course, this piece right here. And a build for some turbines down there next to the piece for the play feature. So that is it. Let me know what you think about this set and if you consider buying it. I would encourage you to buy this set if you're not going to get any other Spider-Man Far From Home sets, as this one is in my opinion, the best one. If we move this set out of the way here, we, you can see the box, which is standard box. There's the logo, piece count, everything that I listed to you at the beginning of the set, and a nice graphic of Spider-Man and Mysterio battling Hydro-Man. Up above, Peter sports the actual size reference. And on the side of the box here, you can see that there is a little a drawing of her artistic interpretation of Spider-Man suit from the film. So that is pretty cool. And a little spider logo right there. And if we go to the back of the box, where I actually, where there were some tearings during the building, you can see that there is no, and that, again, another illustration of the battle, along with the web pieces, MJ and the coffee dispenser, some plays features too. And that is almost it. Move to the instruction manual here, which is pretty standard, standard, nothing special. Just see, illustration on the, on the box, you know, just showing the four bags, and we flip through to the back here. So this is the back of the instruction manual where we have the final build, an advertisement for Lego Life, an advertisement for a two-year-old game, some instruction, uh, some piece counts. Uh, yeah, lots of piece counts. And the usual win advertisement. So that'll be it for today. Please make sure to like and subscribe and consider picking this up. It is a really enjoyable build and set. See you guys next time, and remember, 
with great power comes great responsibility.